Okay guys, uh, there's been some uh, questions about the opt-in forms on the blogging niche uh, site that we did. Um, just want to go over those real quick just to make sure that everybody understands um, what's going on. Uh, you have, uh, there's, three, there's three places on the site where a form uh, shows up. Okay, um, the first one is in the sidebar, which is here. Okay. And um, like I said previously, this this is being controlled by a plugin, and this is a widget. Okay, this is an Aweber opt-in form. Okay, it only works with Aweber. Okay, which is probably one of the best um, uh, autoresponder services you can get. Um, it's one I use. So um, this is the first one. Okay, um, and I'll show you where. Uh, this is controlled okay so inside your dashboard um, now just a quick note you can update Genesis here if you want to it won't hurt anything okay so we're gonna take a look at um, where the first opt-in form is which is in the sidebar here okay and so we're gonna go to widgets and we're gonna be looking in the primary sidebar and this is the widget that we need to look at okay so we're going to click the drop down. Okay, this is being controlled, or this is controlling this widget. Now, on your a -way, on your autoresponder service, you can have one form, or you can have, uh, you know, three forms, um, one for each of the opt-in forms on your site. Um, most of the time, you may have two. Um, a lot of times you'll just have one, okay, and that's the way we have this set up. Each opt-in form, the one that shows in the sidebar, the one that shows on individual posts, and the one that shows on the pop-up, pop all are offering the same thing, okay? So, in your autoresponder service, you would create one list, okay? That list will have one form, okay? That form code, it will go into and on and be used for all of the places that are being shown again that's here on individual post and the pop-up okay so you'd make one form in your Aweber uh, account or your autoresponder account to use this you're gonna have to use Aweber okay so keep that in mind um, one form one list one form okay you're gonna bring your form code over and put it here Okay, once you put your form code in, come down and click Save. That'll take care of this form. Now you want to refer to my other videos so you can set up how to deliver the free gift and how to set that up in your Aweber um, or your autoresponder account. That's in the other videos. Okay, let's take a look at the next form that's on your site. So let's just go ahead and refresh our site. Now when we refresh the site, you'll notice the pop-up. Okay. This pop-up is being controlled by a different plugin, but we'll use the same code that you got from your autoresponder that you used for the a for the uh, um, opt-in on the sidebar. Okay, we'll use the same code um, here. Okay, or the same list. Okay, now for that we're gonna we're gonna go under settings and we're gonna go to pop-up. Okay, so in this where it says pop-up. This controls what is being popped up. Okay, this controls what's being shown. And like I said in the other video, what's being shown is the output from a short code. This short code is being controlled by another plugin. Okay, so this plugin is actually creating the pop up. Another plugin is showing what gets popped up by way of outputting. Um, from a short code okay so what that means is we need to go take a look at what is generating this short code okay and that is in opt-in forms opt-in forms is what's generating or what uses that short code okay so in the email solution for or it says email solution which is the first choice here okay and it's going to ask you what what is your autoresponder service and 
um, you, you choose a Weber or you know if you change something else but um, I recommend a Weber and instead of form code it's going to ask for list ID okay every time you make a list in a Weber um, and I think I went through this with the other video every time you make a list um, in a Weber and then make a new form code or create a new form um, you get a list ID it gives you an ID okay instead of putting the form code like we did for the widget here okay we're just going to put in our list ID okay so again refer to the other video where I show you where to get the list ID okay so list ID here and click Save now if you go over to form this is the form that's being that we made okay so this is the form this is what it looks like okay and now we needed to show this in a pop-up and that's where this plugin comes into play okay now here is the form you can style your form where it says form placement you can see that they offer a short code okay so we grab the short code and put it into this plugin okay so um, actually you're only going to have two places the way that it's set up right now you're only going to have two places to insert um, one is your form code it'll be HTML code and that will go for this um, particular opt-in form and then this one which uses uses the list ID okay these will be the same list that you create in Aweber okay one list in Aweber there's two places on the site that you need to put the list information in one is opt-in form code which is HTML um, the other is list ID um, which is just a list a, a number that gives your list an ID okay I know that sounds complicated but it really isn't once you understand what's going on so I hope that clears that part up and uh, that helps you out so uh, Aweber create one list okay with that list you will create a form get the form code which is HTML which was is called raw HTML okay that will go into the widget okay grab your list ID when you create the list and the list ID will go here okay alright thanks guys I appreciate it